This is a nuclear reactions problem solving video. And looking at the first reaction here, we have some missing information and we're asked to identify the type of reaction or decay. So we are given the atomic number eight and mass number 18. Based off the atomic number, this element is oxygen. The thing reacting with it has a mass number of one and an atomic number of one, so this must be a proton. You could also have said that this was hydrogen. In both cases, this is not a decay because there is something reacting here with the oxygen. So there's actually two particles colliding. And when those two particles collide, they produce a particle with a mass number of one and an atomic number of zero. So this is a neutron. And the remaining product has to have the same, has to conserve mass and the atomic number. On the left side of the reaction, we have eight plus one. On the right side, we have zero. So this is a nine. And 18 plus one is 19 but there's already one for the mass number on the products from the neutron. So the mass number for this product is 18 and the element symbol for atomic number nine is F. Now, because this is two particles colliding to create something one that's heavier or two, a higher atomic number, this is an example of a fusion reaction even though even though it's just one light particle coming in and a neutron being kicked out. Another example of a fusion reaction is shown in reaction three. This kind of fusion reaction is the kind that's actually used to create new elements here on Earth to try and create super heavy elements and probe our understanding of nuclear structure. So the element with an atomic number of 20 is calcium. The element with an atomic number of 97 is berkelium, named for Berkeley, California. We simply need to add everything up. So the atomic number of our product is 117 and the mass number of our product is 297. Now since I created this video, we have had names proposed for the elements and the name proposed for this element is tennessine with a symbol of ts when i created this worksheet there was no proposed name for it yet and it was just an x as a placeholder now as i said in the beginning this is another example of fusion and what would change here is that in reality there's probably some number of neutrons that come out as a product if there's neutrons that come out as an additional product then the mass number of the daughter or of the product tennessine isotope would also change now to look at some other types of reactions we can look at question four in question four 239 as the mass number and 94 is the atomic number this is plutonium 239 which is also weapons grade plutonium this is the isotope of plutonium that would be used in nuclear bombs it's reacting with something with mass number one atomic number zero which is a neutron this produces some number of neutrons and these two other products. Again, you won't have to predict the products in this kind of reaction, but you do need to be able to identify the elements. So the first one there is tin, and the second one is ruthenium. Based off of the sum of the mass numbers, we have 236 shown in our products, but we have 240 in our reactants. Because the neutron has a mass number of one and an atomic number of zero, this means that we need to have four neutrons here. So as I said before, in fission reactions, 
not all neutrons are always three in number. You don't always lose three neutrons in a fission reaction. Sometimes it's a different number. In reaction five, the element thallium has an atomic number of 81. Based off of the atomic numbers here, this is a negative one. So our missing atomic number is 82. So our product here is lead. So what happens, our mass number stays the same, our atomic number goes up, so a neutron turns into a proton. A neutron turns into a proton when it emits a beta minus particle. So we could just call this beta decay. We don't have to specify that it's beta minus. Beta decay by default is beta minus. We can take a look at six. Here's plutonium again, which is atomic number 94. And a particle with mass four, atomic number two is an alpha particle. And it's leaving behind 92. And 92 is the same as uranium. So this is simply alpha decay. Again, we specify that this is an alpha particle because it's a decay and not helium. We would only call this helium if it was a reactant. If we were colliding mass four, if we were colliding two protons and two neutrons with some other reactant, then we would go ahead and call it a helium nucleus as opposed to an alpha particle. The final reaction in this video is number seven. Looking at number seven, we have carbon 11. Carbon has an atomic number of six. It's producing something with mass zero and atomic number positive one. This must be a positron, which is an anti-electron, which is why we have a regular neutrino. In five, we have a beta minus particle, which is a regular electron, which is why we have an anti-neutrino. So just to throw that out there, again, you don't need to remember the neutrinos in this class. Six from the carbon must equal one plus the missing number here plus zero. So the missing number is five, and the element with an atomic number of five is boron. This would be positron decay. Oops. Yeah, sorry for the handwriting in this. And that's it. Those are the um, general reactions you need to know along with neutron capture.